I am far from a creative type. So one of the great things about doing this is there is no right or wrong way to do it. In fact, you can even make a mistake or two, but no one's going to know because it's your own image. And as far as they know, that's how it's supposed to look. So let's get started. Let me show you how to do this. In this particular document, I'm going to create an image or a graphic that I can use in my header and my footer section. I'm going to go to my Insert tab, Shapes, and I'm going to choose a hexagon. And you notice that we have lines, rectangles, basic shapes. There's a lot of different shapes that you can play with here. In my most recently used shapes, I have used a hexagon recently, so it's just right here for me. I'm going to click on that, and then I click and I draw out the size of my shape. Right now, it really doesn't matter the size of my shape, because I can resize it as I go along. And I'm just going to move it more towards the middle of my screen, just so I have a little bit more real estate to work with this image. Now, just a little side note, in Microsoft, a four-sided arrow is always a move handle where a two-sided arrow is a resizing. And we'll be doing a little bit of both of this. So I'm just going to use this same image, but I'll use a little bit of different shape, fill, and outline, and resizing to make it look a little different and unique. So I'm going to resize it, maybe make it look a little bit bigger. And then I think what I want to do is rotate it. So this icon right here, click, hold, and drag. And I'm just going to place it to where these more flat sides are on each side. And I, because I'm going to use the same shape multiple times, I'm just going to copy and paste it. So you can either right click, copy and paste, or you can use your keyboard shortcut to copy and paste. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. I don't want a fill color for this one. I'm going to use just an outline. When I have an image selected, I have my Drawing Tools tab available. And so on the Format tab, I'm going to go to Shape Fill and I'll click on No Fill. And I think I'm going to go with a slightly lighter outline color because I want this to overlap but because the two colors are somewhat similar it doesn't really stand out so I'm going to go to shape outline and I'll just pick a lighter color I think I like this one here now I'm just going to position and resize this image and actually I don't think I need to resize it at all maybe this is pretty good right here I might resize it just a bit move it a little bit more. And again, when you're creating these images, it's all yours. There is no right or wrong. And again, like I said in the intro, I am not a creative type. So sometimes I don't even know what I'm doing until it kind of turns out. And I'm like, ooh, that's not so bad after all. So let's just goof around with this a little bit. And I think I'll just leave it right here. Now again, because this image is already on my clipboard, I can paste it again. So I'm just going to control V. Now I have the image one more time. I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller. And I'm going to change the color of this one to a little bit lighter fill color. So my drawing tools are still up. Go to my format tab and my shape fill. I am going to choose, and again, you can change this, make it a little bit different. And I can see that my outline color is a little bit darker. So I'm going to go to Shape Outline and choose No Outline. And I'm just going to place this right about here. And I think what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to format this shape. So I'm going to right click brings up my menu. I'm going to go to Format Shape. The first icon that looks like a paint bucket, Fill and Line. I'm going to expand the fill and go to Transparency. And I want to make that a little transparent. Just give it a little bit more uniqueness here. I'll just kind of place it right in there. That looks pretty good. Now again, I'm going to Control-V because this particular shape is still on my clipboard. 
and I'm going to resize this. And for this one, all I want is the outline shape similar to this one. Shape fill, no fill. And I think this time I might go a little darker with the color, not fill, shape outline. Let's see what that looks like. And let's move that over to about right here. Okay. You might be thinking to yourself, well, what's the big deal? But I actually think, look how using these different lines, it gives a different perspective. It almost looks like it's 3D-ish in a way. What you can do at this point is play around with which image is in front of another image. So I'm going to select this hexagon here, go to my Format tab if you're not already there, and in the Arrange grouping, you have Bring Forward and you have Send Backwards. So you can arrange objects in front of each other or behind each other. So with this image here, let's see what it looks like if I bring that forward. If I click on Bring Forward once, it's going to bring it forward one at a time in front of each image. Same if I were to hit on Send Back, it's going to send it back one image at a time. If I click this drop down arrow, I can bring it all the way to the front or I can bring it all the way to the back. But let's just bring it forward and it might already be forward. Kind of looks like it. Bring to the front. So I really don't see anything that I need to manipulate here. But let me just show you. If I were to click on our original image, the one that has the fill color, and if I were to bring that forward, see how that is now in front of those other images. And we obviously don't have the effect that we're looking for. So if I click backwards, it goes behind one image, then it goes behind another image, then it goes behind the last image. So just to give you an idea of some other things that you can do with these images. Let's just make sure that it's all the way in the back. Now I want to select each of these images so I can group them together. And to do this, I'm going to click on my first image, hold down the control key on my keyboard, and then select each of these images. With them all selected, again on my Format tab under the Drawing Tools, my Arrange Group, go to Group, and then Group from the drop-down, and now they're all grouped together so you can move these around. I'm going to copy because I want one in my header and one in my footer. And I think I want this to look, I'm just going to rotate that upside down so it's like this, so that these two light boxes seem to be angled at each other. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy, or I can even move this one, but I think I'll copy it because I still want this original sitting in my document. I'm going to show you something here in just a second. So Control C, now I'm going to insert a header, just a blank header, place my cursor in the header area, and paste it. And it, you don't have to keep it visible the whole entire thing. So I'm just going to kind of arrange this. Well, that looks pretty good. Now I'm still in my header and footers sub-tab, my design tab, and I'm going to go to footer. And now I'm going to control V again. And I actually didn't paste the one that I had originally rotated for this. So I'm just going to go ahead and rotate this one. And I'm going to place it somewhat in the same area. There we go. And now I'm going to close header and footer. And let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see what this looks like. So now that's my header and my footer. Let me get rid of these. And there's my document right here. So that looks pretty unique. This is something that we have just created. You're not going to find it anywhere else because it's our own design. And I think that's really neat. So let me just zoom back so we can see something. And I'm going to hit my undo to bring back these images. We really like this image. This is so cool. Yay. I want to actually save this so I can use it again, maybe use it in other documents too. So what is really cool within Word, you can actually do this in Word and PowerPoint and Excel, 
Now, if I right click on this grouped image, I can save as picture. So I can put this, and let me just put this on my desktop for right now. You can give this unique, this is my unique image. And you can save this as a JPEG, as a GIF, or as a PNG. And then you can just insert it into your any document that you have. If you want to make changes to this image, you can just ungroup it. So again, back on my Format tab, Group, I can ungroup. So if I wanted to make any changes to this, I could still do that. Maybe I wanted that a little smaller. So that's a real simple way to create this unique image just by using shapes. And we just used one shape. So just think if you combined a couple of different shapes and you use multiple colors. Let's go back just real quick and take a look at our format tab. Notice in our shape styles all the different colors that we have. You have shape fill, you have shape outline, you have sh different shape effects. So get in there and play with it and create an image. Let me know in the comments below the cool images that you created. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to know when I post new videos, make sure that you click on the notification icon. All right, I'll see you in the next video.